a Muslim mob brutalizes and murders an American ambassador, a representative of the United States of America, to disgrace him and to disgrace us, they would murder us and brutalize us too, all of us. And our government reacts by shuddering and shaking and wondering at the consequences of our First Amendment. It blames an inconsequential fool of a fil filmmaker with a paltry influence for the venom unleashed in another part of the world. God help us. God help us. In the midst of this, there was a voice, one of Mitt Romney. He did not hesitate. He thundered this. I'm outraged by the attacks on American diplomatic missions in Libya and Egypt and by the death of an American consulate worker in Benghazi. It's disgraceful that the Obama administration's first response was not to condemn attacks on our diplomatic, mi diplomatic missions, but to sympathize with those who wage the attacks. His words had a shock effect, didn't they? They had the shock effect because they were true. When they are condemned so broadly, so almost universally among the establishment press, it is likely that they are true. Much of the press, of course, quickly jumped in on Romney to kill this truth in the womb, something it is well practiced at.